Hi guys, welcome back. Today is another edition of our Allure box. But today is going to be a little bit different because I don't normally show my skincare in here, but this Allure box, this box literally had one makeup product in it. So I was like, I can't just show them something with one product. So we're still going to use stuff in it. I just peeped. I didn't use any of it, but we're going to use some of it and incorporate into our skincare routine. So we open it up and so pretty. Got some goodies in there. I'm just going to go through it um, as I put it on my face. I've already washed my face and toned. So now we're just going to use the serums. So there's a Vitabrid C12 like that age defying and deep hydration in this little bottle I use that um, I usually use a vitamin C serum so this isn't any like totally different from my skincare routine but we're just gonna put some drops on there and then smooth that in very lightweight like a little bit oily but like a lightweight oil sorry my face is a little bit red it's not from this it's just I don't know, my skin was really irritated the other day. But this didn't have any ingredients that irritate my skin, so I think it'll be fine. We're also gonna use, it's called Renewed Hope in a Jar Water Cream from Philosophy. Hyaluronic Glow Moisturizer. Well, I love some hyaluronic acid. So we're gonna put like a little bit of that. And we're gonna dab that on our skin. Ooh, that smells really nice. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really nice. Put that moisturizer on, and we're still gonna use our normal SPF. There's also something I'm not gonna use today, but it's the Kate Somerville um, Exfolicate. And I've heard stuff about this. I might try it, it depends. I have to look more into it with the ingredients. Because if it's a physical exfoliant, I won't use it, but if it's chemical, then I'll probably be down to try it. I also am using my normal eye cream. I know this is like a different thing for you guys to see my skincare routine, but different is good sometimes. I let that dry down a little. I'm gonna, there's something that also came in the box is the Akar, I've never heard of that brand, Akar Skin Pure Lip Restoration. And it's this little tin. I'm just gonna put that on our lips. I guess it's just like a lip moisturizer. Ooh, it's like yellow. Ooh, it's really creamy. Ooh, that's like butter. Dang, I like that. And then something else that also came in the box is the Perfect Shine Oil Mist from Nature Lab Tokyo, which I'm not gonna use that today because I don't really do stuff with my hair on here, but it seems like something I could use, especially when my hair straightened. We're gonna put on our SPF and move on with the rest of everything else. After we did that little run through of my skincare, um, we are now prepped and primed to move on to the makeup look. So this is gonna be kind of my normal routine. I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit different, but I'm just starting a new job today, so. Yeah, that's what's happening today. Primed with the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. So yeah, the semester is starting this week. Um, I'm not ready, but here we are. It's January. January has been hectic. I don't feel like I got a break. Yeah, I really don't feel like I got a break. Here we are, we're about to start this semester. One more year to go. Ooh, we got this. Taking translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Put it on my sponge. And just take pat that around my eyes and nose. Now we'll be using our Fenty Beauty um, matchstick and walnut. Going for more of an understated, like more natural vibes look today. I've used this, I've recently, not recently, but the past like couple months, I've been using this as a stick foundation. And it works really nice. It's on the mattifying side, so I have to be careful of that. <coughs> Spray that down. <laughs> Blend that out. Rule number one, don't open your mouth when you're spraying things. All right, so I blended out the matchstick, but I still feel like I want a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation, um, the Natural Radiant Longwear in Stromboli, and I'm just doing like half a pump. I'm gonna dot that. And we're gonna blend that out. All right, so foundation is blended. We are now gonna move on to concealers. Y'all know the drill. NYX 
contour conceal palette. A little brush. Go into that peach color. Tap that under our eyes. A little bit of peach around my mouth. A little bit of yellow also under my eye over that peach. A little bit lower. And that's going to be to brighten. All done. So now we're going to blend that out. Under eye is now bright. Look how bright that is. That looks extra bright today. All right. Now we're going to take, um, yeah, we're going for more natural. So we're just going to do the NARS in concealer in ginger. Also going to take my Fenty Beauty concealer in 280 and use that to brighten on my forehead a little bit. And down my nose. I'll let the under eye dry down while I blend out the rest of it. I'm gonna do our brows. Feeling a 4.5. We're gonna use our Precisely My Brow Pencil in 4.5. And just go in. I've learned not to get too close to the mirror when I'm doing my brows. I look to details and then I come out and I'm like, what the heck is this glob on my face? Just a giant black block that I created. So don't do that anymore. <laughs> I try not to do that. It's an ongoing process. Brows? I'm very proud of my brows today, but that's just me. Now we're gonna put the brow gel on. Benefit Gimme Brow Plus in 4.5. Extra volume. They look really nice today. I'm proud of them. So this has been drying for a while, so we're gonna blend it out now. Y'all know the drill. None of this is like new stuff, but Sorry, the box had mostly skincare. I don't know what to do with this. Y'all can't see the results of that right away. Everything wet has been blended, so now we're gonna go into powders. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier in that sponge. And we're gonna tap into that. Dab off the extra. Down my nose. All the highlighted areas have been taken care of. Whoa, my nose looks real skinny right now. Thank you, highlight. Go in with our micro smooth powder and sand. I might need to get a darker color because I think, yeah, I think this might be making me look too light. You know? I'm actually getting a little bit of sun. So take that on a flat brush and just blend that in. Buff that in everywhere. Now we're gonna go into our bronzer, the Sun Stalker bronzer in Island Ting. And I've been loving her. It's like just enough definition. You're like, oh, you have cheekbones. Those are natural. I don't know. Makeup? Who's she? These are natural. Sure they are. And the jawline. I'm gonna use the same brush and just kind of make a little contour, nose contour. All right, now we're moving on to blush. I think I'm gonna go. Actually, we're gonna come back to blush. I don't know what I want to do yet. I know I am going to take my Jackie palette. You know what? It's going to be kind of neutral. Kind of something I might have already done, but like, it's okay. It's fine. Decided on what I'm doing for the eyes. We're going to use Jackie's Anastasia palette. All right, so we did one eye. I'm going to show you how to do it on the other side. So I'm taking this Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush, and we're going to go into Ginger over here in the Jackie Ina palette. I'm gonna buff that into our crease. We're just doing like a circle shape so we don't need to go too high. With hooded eyes, remember to open your eyes fully so you know how high the shadow is going. Now we're gonna take just a flat brush. This is my one of my wand brushes. Mm -hmm. Just take the flat side of that and we're gonna go into Lituation and we're gonna put pat that onto our lid nice like purple gray toned color which isn't usually my vibe but today it is now we're gonna take that blending brush from earlier we're gonna go into credit try and do this before I forget what I did yeah I use credit and we're gonna pat that on the outer corner but first you want to pat it on because this color is really dark and if you're not careful you could like ruin it all. So yeah, you want to make sure you pat it over that lituation color too. I got one of these um, color switching little sponges, so it's a lot easier for me to just like 
get the extra color off of my brush before I move on. Or like, like in this instance, I'm using the same brush, but I just wanted to get the rest of that brown off so I can just blend what brown I did have on the eye already out. Cool. So then we are going to take a little smudger brush. We're gonna go into ginger again. We're gonna go right underneath our, not necessarily in the waterline, but just like right underneath. And then we're gonna take more of a like sturdier angled brush and we're gonna go into sponsored. It's that green color right here. It's this one right here. And that's gonna actually go in our waterline. You're not gonna be able to see it too much with my eyes, but it'll be a nice pop of color whenever I look down or up or wherever somebody's gonna see it i know it's there okay if anything if it does if someone does notice it i want to be like wow i didn't notice that that's so cool but like it's not like in your face gonna take a small pointed brush gonna go into what did i do oh dwala dwala's dwala's right here go into that and that is gonna be our inner corner highlight and there we go and that is our today's our today's that is today's look. So because we did more brown colors, our blush, we wanna go a little bit more muted. So I'm gonna take this NYX um, terracotta and it's like a little bit of shimmer in it. So look nice on the cheeks. Yeah, it's a nice subtle pink, peachy pink. Actually, I think I'm gonna go a little bit more with, a little bit in with Witty in the Morphe Warm Blush Palette. Just like a tap of that and put that over that. Just wanted that little bit, of, a little bit of something. Something I did notice with the Morphe one, you gotta be careful if you're not used to blush because it, it's got color payoff for sure. So don't wanna, if you're not trying to apply too much, go lightly at first and then build it up. For highlights, basically in every single look, the Fenty Beauty in Hustla Baby. Take a smaller brush, pour it down the nose, and on our brow bone. There we go. I think we're almost done. What am I forgetting? Ooh, this came in the box. That's what I'm forgetting. So this is the, it's from Tarte. It came in my Allure box this month. It's called the Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. We're gonna use that in today's look. That's the only makeup thing I got this month. That's okay. Ooh, it's like a wooden, a wooden container. Open that up. The wand looks pretty standard. When I was reading about it in the little booklet that Allure gives me, it says that the person who used it had like long eyelashes and they wanted low key length. So this seems like a, like an everyday mascara when you're even when you're not wearing makeup. Oh, that's some nice little. Like it's not meant for like enormous amounts of volume. It's just meant for all natural type vibe is what I'm getting, especially with the wooden packaging. That's the vibes it's giving me, but it's not bad. I don't think it'd be waterproof, but I definitely wear this without my, without makeup. Put that in. Nice, I like that. All right, that mascara was popping actually. Like it gave some nice length, actually, even though the lady said she already had long eyelashes, but it looks nice, I like it. So for lips, I'm gonna take my NYX uh, lip liner in Nude Truffle. Ooh, actually, before we do that, I'm gonna take my eye cream, the Burt's Bees eye cream with eye jelly. Just take a little bit of that and pat that into our lips. I just do this as like a lip primer. I don't do it with every lipstick, but when I know I'm gonna be like out all day and the lipstick is really drying, I like to use that. Now we're gonna apply the lip liner, which that actually needs to be sharpened. And now I think, I think I'm gonna do Stun a Lip Paint in Uncuffed. I've never used it with that lip liner, so with that lip liner, it makes a nice, it meet, it brings it down to the brown family. So this is the final look. My hair is being kind of, it's giving me volume in weird places right now, but this is the final look. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Highlights there, eyes there. This mascara is bomb and we'll definitely be using that again. It's a good everyday mascara. I'm noticing because it's yeah it's not much for volume but it's there you can definitely tell it's there like it's not invisible oh I forgot to spray 
we are ready to go to our first day of work wish me luck guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video all right you guys have a beautiful week month day all of the above i'll talk to you guys later bye